Being the founder and CEO of Landy's Gospel Creations LGC, which oversees Gospel United Empowerment Studios guests and extension of LGC, I first and foremost must say I feel very honored to exclusively share through an audio interview a notable encounter through and with my very own productions company. So let's jump right into it. So it's the year 1999. The month is February. So it's Black History Month. And I'm down in South Carolina where my maternal grandparents raised me. The church is Hubbard Branch Baptist Church of Williston, South Carolina. And I'm on to sing a solo on this Black History program. And so I kept hearing people whispering, James Brown is here, James Brown is here. And so from the place where I was sitting, I couldn't tell because there were so many people there at this particular program. And so by the time I got up to sing, sure enough, he was there on the left side of the church sitting right there on the front row, James Brown is here. And so I'm singing the song that I always sing when I go around to the various churches to sing solos, Amazing Grace, because God had blessed me in the area of music ministry. So I was singing in Augusta, Georgia. I was singing in Beach Island, South Carolina. I was singing at churches in in Edgefield, South Carolina. I'm singing at churches in Elko, South Carolina. And also the main city itself right there, Aiken, South Carolina. And so I'm up there singing, and I'm like, James Brown is here. And so I'm singing the song. I sit down. The service is over. So my maternal grandparents and I were walking back to the car, along with my aunt that I was raised with. We're walking back to the car, and we hear this voice behind excuse me, excuse me, like that, you know. And so, (laughs) again, I'm 10 years old at the time. I'm 10 years old. You know, it's 1999. I'm 10 years old, going on 11. And so we turn around and it's James Brown himself adorned as we know him to be with the hat and the, and the cave and all of that. And so he has all his you know, security and all of those individuals around him. He says, excuse me, excuse me. So my, my grandmother turns around. She's, you know, there with me. Grandfather looks and he, he looks at my grandmother and said, you know, he's pointing at me. Who, who is this young man? You know, who is this young man? And so she looks and she said, you know, very proudly, this is my grandson. You know, he said, OK. Okay, well, the world needs to know who this boy is. And so I'm sitting there, I'm standing there, you know, it's just like, James, okay, is this really happening? <laughs> James Brown, the Godfather of Soul, is in front of me, like, wanting me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wanting me. And, you know, let's be reminded, it's during the time, you know, when Apollo is very popular. It's during the time when, you know, Star Search had been. You know, very proper also for many musically talented, talented individuals. And so for me, I'm like, you know, I always wanted to go to Apollo Kids. I always wanted to, you know, I knew, I just knew. I was like, I have it, I have it. And so I'm like being validated by the Godfather. So he said, the world needs to know what this boy has. The world needs to know. I, 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 we need to get him on the radio. I get him signed and all of this. And I'm standing there like, I'm in shock. I'm like, <laughs> the Godfather of Soul. Is, is like he wants me you know because when I think about it I, and I'm thinking about Michael Jackson you know during that time you know Michael Jackson very huge you know and then be it as it is you know and as it was even Michael Jackson was you know one of James Brown's mentees and so I'm like oh is this really happening so my grandmother you know she looks at him and she says you know I agree my, grand, my grandson he has a talent he's gifted But she said, no disrespect, Mr. Brown. This boy is going to school. I'll never forget those words. I'll never forget that sentence. This boy is going to school. And so, you know, now granted, I was in the car hearing it because when he asked, you know, about, you know, who, who is this? Who is this? You know, this is my grandson. And so before the conversation was really had and she said that, you know, she was like, you know, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm sitting there like. Well, I can still hear it in the car, you know. It's just like so my ears pressed against the window, I'm, you know. But hearing that conversation, you know, she says, no disrespect, Mr. Brown, but this boy is going to school. You know, it really is like my heart sunk because it's like my very own grandmother, you know, she's saying this. You know, I love my grandmother very dearly, even to this day. But for many years, you know, for me, it was just hard to understand why she responded that way. Uh, you know, because I'm like, this is the Godfather. So how many people can say that, you know, not just James Brown, but any celebrity, whether any you know of that caliber, may it be a Shaka Khan, may it have been someone you know 
like uh you know a Otis Redden or someone like that you know from back in the day even you know Gladys Knight came and said this 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 boy you know has it how many people can really say that and so I've been privileged I was honored to have had that type of in a uh, notable encounter because that's what it was it was a notable encounter and to this day and to this day I still hold that with me again being raised in that type of environment James Brown you know he was a member of the St. Peter Baptist Church of Elko South Carolina and at that time it was Reverend A.C. Settles who was the pastor God rest his soul uh, also uh, and so every time we would go there may it be for a revival may it be for some type of program whenever we saw the black limo in front of uh, St. Peter Baptist Church we knew James Brown was at church you know he was very involved he was very involved in the community he, he you know he still went to church, you know what I'm saying, that type of thing. And so, you know, I, I saw him, you know, in many settings, you know, from a distance. But to have had that type of encounter, you know, it was like, wow. You know, we, we know James Brown, you know, get up, get on up, you know, get on the good foot, this type of thing. You know, I'm black and I'm proud. You know, we, we know that him. And so, you know, him living in Beach Island, South Carolina, which was like a town over from the town in which I was uh raised you know lived in you know with my maternal grandparents who raised me it was just like wow you know we you know we knew james brown you know that's the southeast that's augusta georgia that's that's aiken south carolina you know that's that that's the southeast and so in february 1999 to have had that to happen and for for many years i just said why did my grandmother do that why did she say that but now here in 2016 you know at the age of 27 and going on 28 with a master's degree which was earned you know under the age of 25 you know it was just it's just like I see now you know I do see now but haven't had you know still continued in the area of music you know for two years I studied music performance vocal at the University of South Carolina Aiken and so with having had that type of exposure in theater arts and you know and just in music in general you know I always said you know I'm gonna make it I'm gonna be famous but then you know my junior year of college I changed from music to psychology and sociology but still yet before I graduated from the University of South Carolina Aiken uh, in May of 2010, that fall of 2009, I released my first CD project in October 2009 entitled Focus on Jesus. And so that that caused the balls to start rolling because I, I kept saying I am a gospel you know I'm, I am a recording artist you know and so gospel was what I turned to gospel was what I knew and so I said I'm a gospel recording artist you know this type of thing you know but growing up watching Apollo you know watching those Apollo kids watching Star Search you know it's like that's me that's me you know I, you know, I, I, used, to, I used to always joke and say I was supposed to have been, you know, the next Michael Jackson, you know, this type of thing. <laughs> but having that type of, you know, notable encounter is, is always stuck with me. And I will forever uh, be grateful because now I've released my fifth CD, you know, this year, uh, 2016, entitled Call on Jesus. And so the music is still in me. The music will forever be with me. And I believe, you know, even with sharing this type of uh, notable encounter, it's, it's for inspiration for someone else. Now, this does not happen every day. These types of things do not happen every day. But to, just to know that, you know, you could possibly one day be approached by someone like, you know, the late Godfather of Soul, James Brown, to say, you know, you have it. I mean, come on now. That that does something to you. That does something to your self-esteem. That does something to your, you know, your, your attitude, your demeanor. I mean, it makes you, you know, sit up a little bit. It makes you, you know, really say, wow. Do I? I guess I do. Okay, 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 all right. You know, <laughs> that type of thing. And so uh, I've been very blessed. And again, you know, I know that even with sharing this, you know, again, it's inspiration to someone else to let them know, you know, keep keep ha keep at it. Whatever your dreams, goals, and aspirations are, you know, go for them. You know, I I've just been blessed. I've just been, you know, honored and, and graced with the opportunity to, to have had a notable encounter with the late Godfather of Soul who, you know, looked to mentor me and to sign me and to have me you know give me radio exposure in the area of music and so I, I never let that go I, I've always held that with me now again for as I said for many years I just looked at my grandmother like now why did you do that why did you say that you know and you know within my heart and even you know directly you know I said okay I, for, I forgive you for that I forgive you because I love my grandmother you know and um my, that my mom's mom and so um it's just was like wow you know D. James Brown at 10 years old, D. James Brown looked to mentor and sign me and give me some radio exposure, you know, it's a blessing. And so I, I share that 
for that sake. And so I'm looking for the music ministry that I have, the music that I, I, I sing, you know, you know, I, I, I put that soul in there. I put, I keep it soulful, you know, that type of thing. And so um, it's going to the next level. I, I've already declared that I, I believe that and I, I really, really feel that it's going to the next level. It, it, I'm in that season now um, to take it to that next level. And, you know, there there's only one other place outside of this audio interview that I've shared this notable encounter and that's on my official music uh, website the music page there in my bio my musical bio uh, so now this is the second place that you can know of this and that people will know of this I don't really share this with everyone I have not I've never shared this with anyone but I think be it now you know this year 2016 I'm celebrating my 10 year high school class reunion and having come through undergrad and graduated in May 2010 from the University of South Carolina Aiken with my BA in psychology and sociology and then May 2013 with my masters uh, from Cornerstone University in Grampus, Michigan you know this type of thing uh, it's just like okay it's about that time it's about that time that I share this because it's all about timing and I really believe that this was the timing you know to really share this notable encounter uh, of having, you know, really exclusively been, you know, verified. It's almost like verified, like on Twitter, you know, like on the social media website. I, I was verified by the late Godfather of Soul himself, James Brown. So that's my notable encounter with the late Godfather of Soul.